hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hit that button down below and subscribe 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 today i have a bags with tags video so basically bags that i have not worn yet and uh, this is why i'm trying to go on a low buy or no buy <laughs> I'm trying to be strong, y'all. I'm trying to stay strong. I'm trying not to buy any more bags because I'm like, dang, I got a plethora of bags that I haven't even worn yet that I love. Like, look at this one. This one to me is just like a beautiful work of art. When I tell y'all I love to stare at this bag, I love to stare at this bag. Like, sometimes I will just take this bag out the dust bag just to look at it. It is so beautiful. Like, the colors... And here's the tag. This is the large Duxbury in the color Joyful. And she is a beauty. I'm not about to go through, like, open the bags or nothing like that. Because I've done a review on, like, all of these bags. So, there's no need to do that. But I'm just showing you guys the bags that I have not worn yet that I will wear. <laughs> I have a shirt and some shoes for this bag. I just, and now it's about to be fall, so I'm not going to bring her out. But, oh, she's so pretty, y'all. I just can't get over how beautiful this bag is. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the next bag. But let me just say, let me just say, I know, I know y'all have seen what's been going on with P. Diddy. And y'all, I must say, I'm not the one to gossip. Y'all know I don't get on here gossiping. I really don't get on here talking about nothing but the bags. But y'all, that had me tossing and turning. Like, that made me sick to my stomach. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That is so sick. And it kind of reminds me of Epstein. I remember when I watched that video, I was messed up for a couple of days after watching the, um, not video, but the documentary on Netflix about Epstein. Y'all. My heart goes out to all of his victims. My heart goes out to Cassie. Like, it's one thing to be a survivor of domestic violence, which that's probably why it hits me kind of hard because I'm a survivor of domestic violence. But, you know, that was years and years ago and I'm divorced and I'm not <laughs> in that situation anymore. So I understand the domestic violence, but it's like not only is it domestic violence, it's sexual violence too like dang beating a woman wasn't enough you had to sex traffic her you had to make her sleep with other people you had like that's so sick like all of it is sick oh my god i just and then your own girlfriend i mean not saying that if she wasn't her girlfriend it's still bad if it wasn't his woman but your woman like, that man don't love nobody but himself. Like, that's so sick. And I'm not here to pass judgment on nobody. I can't put anybody in a heaven or a hell or a jail cell. All I'm saying is, you reap what you sow. And when I was watching, like, all these videos and all this stuff, watching the district attorney say what he said, I was just thinking that one Bible verse popped in my head, what Jesus said. And he said, it's easier for a camel to fit through an eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get into heaven. And I remember reading that a long time ago and I'm thinking, why is it hard for a rich, a rich person to get into heaven? And now I see! Like, now I see! Like, you're doing all this stuff that you don't even need to be doing. Like, good God! Like, I don't know. I can't wrap my brain around it. And, I don't know. I'm just, you know, sending prayers for all the victims sending prayers for Cassie the, that it's just awful it just really is but anyways let me get back to these bags so this is the Lana in the larger size and look I put the the um the charms on it it is so cute with the charms y'all I love it with the charms but as you can see <laughs> it's got a tag but you know what it's about to be fall. You feel me? By the time this video gets out, it might already be fall. So, she's about to get worn. Like, <laughs> soon. Look. Uh, Y'all. She is so cute. I just can't get over how cute it is with the charm. 
and this is the coach charm and i took the um the ring off of it because i just didn't like how it looked on there it looked but y'all look at the pretty chair like the dark oh it's so cute you guys so this is the second bag that i have not worn yet but i will be pulling this big baby out <clears throat> Um, I have not worn this bag, and as you see, it does have a tag. She is beautiful, and I do plan on bringing her out this fall. And I say that because she gives cream to me. Like, she's not white, white. She's Coach Chalk, and we all know that Coach Chalk is not uh, white, white. Y'all, you can't tell me that ain't. You cannot tell me. Look at, yeah, this is a fall look to me. Like it is, it is. That is so cute. This is the um, town tote, I think. Yep, this is the coach town tote. She's a beauty. And I have already worn the black one. This one I have not worn yet. Um, let's see. I'm having to come across the camera. This beautiful Brahmin bag, y'all. Why haven't I worn my Brahmins yet? Like, bags with tags. Why haven't I worn her yet, y'all? I don't know. But I will be wearing her as soon as spring hits. Her and the large Dutch bear. Because look at her. Y'all, I can't. Like, come on beautiful gold like it's me this bag is me it's so freaking is what is this it looks like some glue or something on it i don't know tape was on anyway so freaking cute and what is this one called this is called the marlo so cute like this is a very <laughs> a very large bag like look how tall it is like look at my arm this is a tall bag but it is beautiful and i can't wait to wear her although i haven't worn her yet now and it's crazy because the bags that i got for my birthday that just passed baby i don't wore them i wore that uh rainbow kirk geiger bag already and i wore the um the coach tabby 33 already but i haven't worn these it's a shame but i, I will get to them y'all give me time <laughs> All these darn bags. <laughs> and y'all, I've had this one for so long. It don't make no sense why I haven't worn it yet. But I'm I'm telling you, like, for the spring, I'm lining these bags up. These are the first ones that's coming out. Like, as soon as spring hits, I'm bringing out these colorful bags. Because why haven't I worn it? So freaking cute, you guys. And not even that, like I haven't even worn it, but I did buy an insert from the coach outlet to go in this bag because this one is kind of like flimsy feeling, if that makes sense. So I actually bought the um, insert, which I haven't opened yet because I haven't used the bag yet. So there'll be a video on that probably in the spring because, or I don't know. I don't know if I should go ahead and insert it in the bag. I don't know. But you guys, this one doesn't have a tag on it. I probably took it off because I was going to wear it and then didn't wear it. But beautiful. Beautiful bag. And let me just say that the insert matches the inside of this bag. Like, I think it matches pretty perfectly. And I got this from, um, where did I get this from? What's it called? Hobby Lobby. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was so cute so cute but anyways i'm about to move on to the last bag with tags this is the very last bag with tags i got this from plato's closet for a great deal and that's why i snagged it it is called the ginger pochette in the color ocean but when i say bag with tags baby bag with tags it looks brand spanking new never used 
type of bag and right here it says it was 90 but it wasn't it was on clearance for like 50 percent off so i got a good great deal i want to say about 40 something dollars yeah it was about 40 something dollars for this bag this is how the inside is looking like yeah it's still got the stuffing in it y'all it's so new the only reason I'm showing y'all the inside of this bag is I haven't done a um, review on this bag. That actually came with a dust bag. I can't even believe that. It's got this little thing. I can't believe this came with a dust bag, but my, um, my, um, Julian Burke satchel didn't. That's kind of crazy. This is how the inside is looking. It's got a zipper pocket on that side. And then it's got just a slip pocket right there. And then it's got like the, I guess the serial numbers or whatever over there. But yeah, you guys, this is the very last bag. Um, so let me count. That's one, two, three, four, five, six bags. Six bags that I haven't worn yet. And two of the, three of them, three of them I can wear, um, this fall. Like this one, because you know, the dark color. This one, my town toe and my Lana I can wear this fall. But I might have to wait till the spring just to wear the other ones just because... I just feel like when fall comes, I like to wear my fall clothes, so. And my fall clothes just tend to be darker. Okay, let me get it. But yes, this is all of my bags with tags. Leave me some comments down below. Do y'all have bags with tags? What kind of bags do y'all have that y'all haven't worn yet? And you know what? I will say. Six is a lot of bags to not have worn yet, but considering how large my bag collection is, I think that's okay. <laughs> like, the fact that I've worn all of my other bags, I'm proud of myself for at least doing that. But I will get to get to these. I swear I will. But, yeah, I'm trying to go on a low buy just to be able to wear my bags and actually be able to review my bags because I don't, you know, stay in them for that long to get real, real reviews. But anyways, leave me some comments down below. And again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, 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 and I will see you guys later. Bye.